actually I'm really surprised by it. the handling. Yes. Biker, please see us because this is a top speed section. Please. Please. No. Ah. Nice. I don't know what's in your trunk, but it may not be there anymore by the end of the lap. So those are my weapons that are in the trunk. All right. You got even appropriate hat. Yeah. Fantastic. I got I got a black flag for loudness. Oh no. Where, where are the measuring points? I'll tell you off camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's too bad, but we were able to uh, do a lap with it hopefully next weekend. Anyway, what is not going to be too loud, hopefully, otherwise it's maybe LS swapped or something, speaking of LS swap, is Steven's Tesla Model S Plaid. Steven, come join us for the too much traffic here, I understand. Now, we already did a lap with Model S Plaid of Sebastian Vittel a month ago, maybe two months ago. But this has now the well-sought uh, track pack. Carbon ceramics, apparently different suspension software that's supposed to uh, make the car more stable. Uh, and usually uh, special tires, which are not street legal. So in this case, we are running the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 S tires with extra load. Um, did I forget anything else? Um, yeah, it also unlocks the top speed ah, yeah. of the car, so in track uh, mode before the ceramic brakes you get roughly 280 okay. as the top speed and now it's unlocked to 200 miles an hour or 322. Okay, alright, so like additional like 42 kilometers or so, uh, give or take. Yeah, Should well. coming here on the Autobahn I already managed to get 328. 328? Yes. So they're actually under promising. And that's on the regular mode, so I haven't tested it on the track mode on the Autobahn yet. Alright, well, it's, it's going to be interesting, going to be interesting. Of course, there has been uh, lots of uh, questions from my side, especially because shortly after I did the video, uh, Tesla published the new lap time record, and me having driven the car, I said, like, well, no way that this is stock suspension. A lot of people said, like, well, with the software optimization, etc., etc., it is actually stock suspension, and... Anyway, we're gonna do a lap. I'm very excited to see how the car is going to handle and uh, perform. Let's hop in for now. Let's have a look what kind of a mo modes we'll be using because that's always like a Tesla geeky stuff. We have the yoke steering wheel. So, we have our 90s and 80s already uh, vibing, singing. So, what are we going to? What are we doing, Steven? Because uh, I'm not like really that f familiar with uh, the okay. modes. So, we have a couple of options here, but there uh, is a difference with the one that he showed earlier okay. with the track mode. Um, is that now uh, you have to turn it on? Uh, okay. You have to go on the brake if you put your foot on the brake. Okay. We can select track mode, which uh, well basically says the whole same thing. Yeah, that it yeah, used the liability and stuff. Yeah, exactly. We accept but it. Now, if you go back to the suspension, um, you can't really change the suspension settings uh -huh. anymore. So it is going to a sport setting apparently. Okay. Uh, we use this, but it's only for autopilot. Um, but you used to be able to play a little bit more yes. with the suspension, and now they say that they have adjusted the suspension for better handling. Okay. But we'll haven't see. been able to test that, mm -hmm. so we'll have to see. All right. Well, we'll, we'll uh, have a look in terms of like a regen and uh, what's it called, traction control. Well, what do yeah. we use there? Um, so if we go to customize here, um, 50, if we do 50. a race preset, yeah, 50-50. Again, you cannot uh, change it. Uh huh. Oh, regen, uh, you also cannot change. Um, or, or no, no. You, you All used right. to be able to do so. Yes, but, uh, exactly. Okay. Well, we'll we're keeping it at the race preset. If yeah. Tesla Probably, tells if us you had a new profile, you can. Maybe. Yeah. Then you can. Ah, okay. It. Do you want it differently? Yeah. No, no. I think I think it's fine. Let, let, yeah. Let's keep it okay. uh, as is. Usually, I switch off the regen because it helps to keep the battery yeah. cooler. We can do that. We can set uh, everything in the middle and then get the region a little bit lower. Maybe since uh, we have ceramic brakes. Exactly. Let's uh, let's do that probably. Okay. Uh, on top, we are starting right now with 87 percent state of charge. Uh, the previous lap I did with Sebastian, I think it was like 60 or 50, so it was quite low. So this should be actually better. But yeah. Overall, I'm uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's put it at 30 percent, so you get a little bit of help. Yeah, that, I, I think that 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 works. Okay. So these are all the settings, and now we go uh, go do a lap. Yep. First we'll clean the windshield because that's uh, what YouTube wants. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So what are your main expectations? 
Uh, I'm mostly, well, for me, it's curious. It's like on one hand, I want to find out if the car is like really more stable, mm -hmm. but I also not gonna try to find it out. Right. Because you know, when you're gonna try to find it out, then you need to do stupid stuff, and that's uh -huh. that's not responsible. Yeah. Back then, it was like, okay, I was driving it, and I'm like, oh wow, it. Then you catch it, you know, like yeah. mm, don't like it. So we just, I'm just gonna drive as I would drive normally without trying to provoke anything. Yep. Uh, and since the brakes is actually the major complaint point, mm -hmm. uh, let's see how they gonna behave. And of course, also like all the battery and everything, because you can yep. see also with the with is that actually on blades? It is. Wow. Hulk Hogan is driving it. Yeah. Um, uh, the battery, because also with the with the lap record, you could see that the driver had to coast quite a lot to yep. uh, take some of the temperature off the of the battery. So uh, yeah, overall, just want to see how the how the car performs. Mm -hmm. I drove today so far. My first car that I drove was Mark Six Golf GTI, then Mark Four Golf R32, and then extremely methanol ejected uh, modified Mark V Golf GTI. So all kinds of different cars and yep. now I need to readjust my thinking a bit. So uh, yeah. the first couple of meters will uh, have to see what it does. But I'm also really curious about the speeds we will be able to achieve because yeah, yeah we have lots of traffic. I don't know what will be possible. Yeah. Uh, but then again, it also puts in perspective how the car would perform uh, in comparison to other cars. Okay. Okay, let's see what this can do. Yeah, or cannot do, but hopefully yeah. mostly can do. For me, it's the first time that I've ever been on a track. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, that should I, be nice. I used to have lease cars, mm. which makes it impossible to go on a track yes. legally. Legally, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, I'm happy that you're responsible. Okay, well, off we go then, huh? Yep. So the brakes are really good. Tires are great. We need to warm them up a bit. Okay, well, the first impression I think I owe Tesla an apology because this is significantly more refined. It's more stable. Yep. The weight is, of course, still there. Yeah. You cannot hide that. No. to float plots. Biker, please see us because this is a top speed section. Please. Please. No. Ah. Well, if you can keep up with a super bike and pushing it, I don't know what speed we're doing because GoPro is blocking the view. But it was fast enough. Thank you! <laughs> a little bit too late, but... Yeah, better late than never. Oh. Okay. You got a little light on that jump, haven't you? struggling from yeah, 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 but because the torque is vectoring work, works very nicely. Mm -hmm. Oh, yellow flag. Yeah! The motor temperature is full high though. Yeah. But uh, yeah, 
Wow, no, like I said, um, I owe Tesla an apology because from what I remember, this is a lot more stable, a lot more playful as well because in certain sections you could like lift off the throttle, the back end steps out, if it doesn't step out or not, you give a bit more throttle so it puts more power to the rear mm -hmm. and all right, no, this is really so big change really for good. the track back. Yeah. Big change, yes. So. Something rolling in your trunk in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the brake performance is still really good. Mm. So that's. Ooh. All wheels scraped. Yeah. Four wheel drifting. Yeah. Oh. Him as well. power mode. I can yeah. feel that. It's only one quarter of the power available which should be still quite good. The battery temperature is uh, it's also high I can see on the screens. Okay. Yeah it's also a hot day. Yeah. And I did some supercharging before I uh, stopped at your place. Okay. Yeah the state of charge is also 63 right now. The tires are quite hot as well. But here is where Sebastian had to lift because the car was extremely unstable. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. There we go. Okay. Missed the corner entry a bit there, but no, um, because I was talking. And, mm -hmm. uh, but um, that's the point when I was passenger with him. I'm like, what the hell did the car do? And the same then afterwards happened to me in Flugplatz mm -hmm. or in Kulabakohe. But here it's now really, it's good, it's stable. But yeah, we're uh, missing power now. It's still good. So yeah, I guess we do live in an age where you can modify suspension based on software. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, of course, also, on the other hand, to play the devil's advocate or like uh, my own excuses, mm -hmm. you never know what kind of suspension geometry setup Sep was running, you know, maybe like yeah. maybe hit the curb, maybe it was completely off, and yeah, it's so it's always hard to say, but it's uh, general. This is really doable. It's really a nice, stable, controllable, especially the brakes. What do you feel about the yoke? I have no problems with it. Okay. Like I, I can. Uh, uh, relay that maybe you would have issues if you have if you're getting sweaty hands or you're not used to it. Yeah. But since I'm uh, like driving so many different cars, uh, a bit of under oversteer. Um, since I'm driving so many different cars, I can oh yellow. Uh, I get used to what I have to work with, you know. Yeah. So overall, it's uh, it's good. It's good. It's good. No, like I said, I have no problems with it, but I can uh, understand that it could be uh, challenging. The thing is, the major, the only complaint point for the yoke is that you cannot like counter steer if you have to do yeah. like a full opposite lock. But okay. the, um, I mean, the di uh, what's it called? The directness of the steering wheel mm -hmm. is so good that you, if you need to do opposite lock with this wheel, then you're already you're already done for it let's yep. call it that way oh, now we have more power because we cool down yeah Oop. it's cooling down very quickly and the brakes are good I 
I don't know what's in your trunk, but it may not be there anymore by the end of the lap. I practice Aikido, so those are my weapons that are in the truck. Well, this like wooden weapons. All right. That's so the, that's the most <laughs> random load on a lap I have experienced, but random cargo. No, fantastic. Like, right. wow. No, really, really good. Like the handling, in terms of handling, I didn't feel unsafe at any point once you realize what the car is going to do, especially torque vectoring. Uh, that's something that uh, you need to get used to. I remember the first time when I drove the Rimac Nevera, it was like really mindfuck. Yeah. Or even some other cars that simulate torque vectoring. Mm -hmm. uh, that's really something you need to be uh, well aware of. But uh, it's amazing. Like I said, uh, the car is really neutral but yet playful. Like it, it, it does what you expect it to do. Um, no, it's, uh, it's fantastic. I mean, obviously one thing is that we could see is that it didn't, um, uh, it, it could not do a full lap without uh, overheating. Yeah. So, uh, but it does cool down quite quickly. So after this yellow section, we could use full power potential for yeah. again, a couple of more corners. Mm -hmm. Uh, and again, this proves also that the lap record car, I would say, was stock in that way uh, because it also, he had the coast to uh, make use of the most laps. So it's still strategic driving, um, unlike the new Type R where the car did not overheat on the lap record and the stock car just goes through the roof. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, no, it's... Uh, and also we didn't let it do the completely pre-cooling. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. For the track mode. Yeah. On the one hand, and then I did some supercharging beforehand. So that heats so, up the battery as well. Yeah. yeah I yeah. think it could do maybe one lap or close to one lap without overheating the battery at these speeds. All right. All right. Well, we can maybe one day. I have yeah. actually one more guy. I have a couple of people with trackback coming as well, but okay. you're the first one. Uh, and maybe we can then, uh, for for the reference sake, we I can say to them like, hey, make sure that the battery is cold. Yeah. Make sure that we're gonna go at eight in the morning when the track is still cold. And uh, yeah, the pressures are also quite good. I mean, they are now at three point one, of course, but yeah. um, the tires still performed nicely. No, I'm like really impressed. It's uh, as if Elon Musk told me like, hey, well, you want a million euros if you make a positive video about my car? <laughs> if only. You can still call me, but uh, no, it's uh, you could have seen it yourself. It was um, it was indeed good, so I stand corrected. And then, uh, like, uh, I'm always the first person to admit my mistakes, and in this case, it was not a mistake. It's more of a fact that do not track a non-track pack car, but with a track pack, you can actually be safe when it comes to brakes and most importantly, suspension. Actually, in this way, so uh, yeah, it's uh, actually. Thing that works. What's the price of a track pack? Uh, if you get the ceramic brakes, it's uh, just under 14,000 euros. That's actually very, very, uh, very affordable, I would say. Because yeah. if you look at uh, average supercar, hypercar, like Porsche for ceramic discs, you might end up paying like, what, 20 grand? Well, yeah. may maybe less, but uh, here you get the full system. And that actually is working good. And these are also uh, continuous fiber wound in the shape of the wheel uh -huh. instead of uh, doing the cross fiber yeah, yeah. usual uh, thing. So should be better for heat dissipation, they say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not. And uh, then if you get the wheels, that's uh, 18,000, so about three, 1,800 bits. Yeah, yeah. I, 5, I think you get, yeah, the yeah, I think you get like a small discount if you buy a pack yeah. combined instead of the separate. And the uh, cooled seats. I like them. <laughs> on this hot day, we're now at yeah. 25 degrees, but it feels like 35 on mm -hmm. the outside already. So no, fantastic. Thank you so much. It's been really, Thank real you. pleasure. So. I would never be able to do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one day, if you practice. Uh, practice makes perfect. That's so. true.